Yo, what's up, guys? How the hell are you? And welcome back to Demon Souls. This is uh, World Two, World Two, um, Part One. Uh, those of you with a keen eye will notice that there's something different about me and my stats in the upper left corner. Uh, I don't want to talk about that right now, so we'll just leave those a mystery for now, but I will touch base on that uh, later on in the video that was actually happening, but uh, for now, let's just get on with this level. Oh, and ignore that blood thing. That, that never happened. So, I did go through her a little bit, obviously. Got some things, but I uh, didn't really get far. This is... Uh, my successful playthrough, I guess. This is, uh, actually, the, I think this, this level gets you better at the game. It proves your dodging if you have a person who dodges, you know, fighting ability and all that shit. Sometimes hard to time stuff. Um, another note, grass, the stuff that you use to replenish your health. You don't want to waste it as much as I do in this level. I go through gra grass in this level like, uh, like no tomorrow. It's, it's ridiculous. So, uh, new environment, new place, new world, new art stone, all new stuff. Yay! Um, this is the, I guess the burrowing. The burrowing king, I think that he's called. This is his world. So this is uh, one of the rare parts that I'll be above ground in this place. This is 90, 95% I guess underground, this world. Um, so yeah, clear those guys who are throwing rocks out. Don't have to worry about that, but I gotta, this is the real way to go. This, this way is the real way to go. So the enemies in this level, um, they're a lot dumber than the zombies in the last one, whatever those things were in the bullet area palace. As you can see, the upper right corner, this is the stone thing tunnel. I guess that's what I'll call these videos. Um, these guys are dumb and they hurt because they just don't care and uh, they barely give you any souls. So they're almost not worth fighting, but if you pass them up, they could uh, notice you're there and come follow you and hit you from behind when you least expect it, so... Uh, the way I approach this game, I'd rather be safe than sorry, especially at this point with how lacking in the gear department I am and how uh, low level I am. I think the best thing in this game is uh, a health regen, which I, I had on my other guy, but I don't have on her yet. But I'm definitely gonna get that thing because the stress it relieves when you play this game is just unbelievable. Because you need, uh, it's just, it's a vicious circle. You need souls to buy stuff, and you need grass to heal yourself. So, you run out of grass, you need to buy stuff. Everybody you just killed, I mean, like, you gotta go buy stuff, and there may not be a vendor here, so you gotta go get it. Which means you need souls to buy it, and you can't sell anything to get souls back. And sometimes they're very expensive, so, you know, when you use all your grass up and then you die, and are stuck with nothing to heal yourself with, you're also stuck with no souls because you died, and all your souls are where you died. So it's, uh, it forces you to farm. And believe me, I've farmed a couple times to beat this place. Unfortunately, but uh, good news for you, you guys won't have to watch me farm through the Boletarian Palace. I'd probably be dead place four more times after this. Obviously I didn't kill the boss again because the boss is gone, but I went through the first part a lot more times. And uh, this video I really introduced you to backstabs. These guys are the best to backstab because they are down working and it saves you a lot of time by just getting behind him to backstab him. There are weapons you can get and weapons you can upgrade to to increase the damage you do while backstabbing. 
the point I am at this game. Uh, I want to find a, a better weapon before I start upgrading my weapon. I looked online and I looked at a lot of character builds that other people posted. They're not specific character builds to where, like, you know, that you have to build this way. Once you basically start the game, you can build the character however you want. If I wanted to, I can change her to a straight up soldier or I can change her to a straight up mage. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, the starting class just puts you, uh, with the stats up where they are when you start the game. Yeah, backstab. So with this chick I found a nice build called a, uh, a ninja build. Which is basically, you know, one where you're sneaky, you're really easy, you know, uh, really good dodge ability, and you're quick and strong. So that's like, that's everything I want to be with this character. So there's a better weapon than what I have to upgrade that I want to get, and I'm not sure which area I want to go to because when, there's just so much you can do in this game. Once you get, like, a weapon, you can upgrade it to keep basic stats, or you can upgrade it towards specific stats. Like, you can make it a bleeding weapon, which, um, you'll notice throughout this, this weapon I have has a chance to make people bleed, which you'll hear a heartbeat noise, and you'll still see the health number above their head take down damage. Uh, it increases that and makes it hurt more. Uh, there's one where you can do more magical damage on your weapon, where you can crit more on your weapon, uh, just a whole bunch of shit. And uh, I haven't really decided what I want to lean towards first, but um, this level is, well this world is the best to help you upgrade because you need stones to upgrade your weapons and I will find a lot of that in this level. Also, this level doesn't give you any grass at all. Um, well actually, these, the fire guys, are the only people I believe that drop grass. And there's only a handful of them in this place. So, all the grass I'm running, uh, I'm running through, I, I don't replenish like I did in the first world. See, this guy's, I have this guy bleeding. I don't know if you heard the heartbeat. But uh, you'll get a chance to hear some more. So the first level was pretty linear and this one is going to end up to be pretty linear too. A little bit of a maze effect to it because you got to backtrack and make shortcuts and all that stuff. That's how most of the levels are. I think that's how all the levels are. You work through them and you make the shortcuts. You don't have to worry about when you die and come back. You don't have to go through all of it all over again. But uh... I'm not, you know... There's no gate in the front that I'm trying to open this one. Now. I'm just working my way deeper and deeper into this, these tunnels to eradicate all the demons, I guess. And as frustrating as it is to die, and as frustrating as it is to realize that once you die, you're left with nothing. And not only are you left with nothing, but uh, the world you're in is harder. It's it's just hectic as hell. So I think the video cuts mid fight. Oh, I, I take one of these guys out and then I get another the other guy in the next video. So I'll let this fight play out. You kinda since you have a lot of time you wanna fight on your own terms. You don't wanna rush into fighting. You don't want to get in that confined space because I can't swing my weapon and he can swing away because he doesn't really care. Crazy attacks like that that will hurt you like hell and just make you run through your grass. You want to save the grass as much as you can and take every advantage you can in the fight. <laughs> 